Welcome to Inside Hartford All Access. She's Jennifer Rosati. I'm Brian Rosari. And coming off a big win against UMBC on this court right behind us, uh, how big of a win was it for you guys? Obviously, it was a revenge factor since you lost both meetings to them in the regular season. It was obviously a big game just because of the stage. It was, you know, for a chance to play in the finals. And it was, you know, we had to go up against the number one seed in the conference. And, um, yeah, it was the only team we hadn't beaten in the conference this year. So certainly a revenge factor, but I think more just a, a proof of how well we're playing right now. And we wanted to be able to put that on display, and I thought we did a nice job of that. How much time did you have to spend returning phone calls and text messages and things like that? Um, not not too bad, you know. It was, uh, I think, a, a few people forgot about us this year and so they were surprised when they turned the internet on on Monday and realized that we were still playing and had a chance to you know play in the postseason so you know I think that um, you know a lot of people are excited for us they know what we've been through this year especially the people close to me they know that it's been a trying season with a lot of challenges but um, at the same time um, knowing how I am and who I am they, they probably realize how rewarding it is for me to be able to bring the team to this point where they're getting it you know getting another chance to play for a championship. The girls uh, coming off the win against Albany, in which they kind of, you guys were running all over the court, and then against UMBC, they try to slow things down. Uh, the girls seem so focused and determined. Have you seen that look in their eyes before? I, you know, I've started to see it over the course of the last, you know, month and a half. I think um, the month of February was a great month for us. It really allowed us to define who we were, and it allowed us to get the wins over the top teams in the conference and have a confidence going into the tournament that we were playing well. So, yeah, I mean, it, we've been harping on defense all year, and when, when that work and that determination and that focus started to pay off um, heading into the America East tournament, uh, certainly the look in their eyes was, was much more one of confidence than it had been all year long. Last time we sat down, uh, we had a midseason review, and at that point you had said uh, that you guys were going to win the rest of the games. You came up one game short. You lost to UMBC, so you went 7-1. and one. Why were you so confident at that point? You know, I don't know. I just I felt like the second half of um, the first time through, although we lost 3 of 4, um, I just kind of felt like there was a turning point in there somewhere, probably down at UMBC when we lost in double overtime. Um, I just remember after the game feeling like if this is what I have to work with, then I feel pretty good about the rest of the year. And then, you know, we lost up at BU, and I said to myself, if this is the best team in the league, I feel pretty good about the rest of the year. And, and because we were making strides and because we were still playing without Nakia and because I felt like our kids were leaving a lot on the floor and it wasn't an, a, a matter of a lack of effort or a lack of determination, it was just a lack of experience. And we needed some guys to continue to grow and to continue to get better. And I think the emergence of Ruth Ann as a go-to guy for us and a leading scorer for us and a, a, a person who was getting a double-double on almost every night um, certainly was a big factor in um, the turnaround for our season because we were just kind of floundering there for a while not really knowing who we could turn to and she started to play great we got Nakia back another person we could go to in the post and then our guard balance has been phenomenal all year long. Was that the same turning point where you thought the team chemistry re really wound up increasing? Yeah, you know, chemistry is a funny thing. You never really know when it's going to come or go and how it develops. But, um, you know, this year we have a um, lower number in rosters. So with Kyoka being, being hurt, we only have 11 healthy guys to play. And, you know, with a 10-person rotation, keeps a lot of people happy. <laughs> so I think, um, you know, everybody started to really feel like they knew what their role was and um, you know even the seniors having such a big part of our emergence Amanda playing well and finding a way into our rotation and Mary really being a steady reliable guy every night and Jackie getting kind of into her groove again uh, I think the rest of the team just felt good about how our seniors were playing and wanting to play for them and um, you know it says a lot about those guys they, they really kind of persevered through the season after being three years of being here winning 20 plus games they found a way to keep their heads up and, and remain great leaders and lead by example. And I just think it makes the rest of the kids want to play for them and, and make sure that they go out on, on top in their senior year. Coming off of that, uh, you guys wind up pulling up uh, the seniors after the Harvard loss December 3rd. And not that you, as a coach, ever want to have that conversation with them, but where the team is at, that kind of stuff. Do you think that the three girls handled it pretty well making the adjustments? 
I do. I, I, you know, I think it was really difficult for him. I don't know that I'd ever seen Mary that upset after a game. And um, it was, you know, it's pretty neat as a coach when you realize how invested your kids are after that many years. And um, when you feel like they're putting this, the amount of time and investment into it that you are as a coach, it makes you want to fight for them. And so, you know, we just addressed it. They had their own little team meeting and I had my coaching staff meeting and certainly we weren't feeling any kind of desperation we just felt like we needed to make a stand and even though we lost our next few games there was definitely some um, you know obvious improvement in terms of the the focus the kids were coming to practice with and the determination and the work ethic they were displaying every game and um, that's kind of what made me feel like we would be okay once the conference started and and then you know with conference going on and getting a chance to see everybody the first time through and and then finally being you know almost healthy minus Kyoka um, I don't know we just kind of went into February like hey this this can be our year this can be our season and we were disappointed not to win a regular season championship so I think it makes us even more hungry now to win a conference championship all right well that's coming up on Saturday against Boston University you guys wind up uh, splitting the season series uh, as much as you're not trying to change anything trying to keep it as a normal game obviously the stage is really big what should the fans anticipate well, it's it's always a hard-fought game when we play BU, and um, I think the fans know that. We've obviously played them um, on the biggest stages all the time, um, whether it's for conf uh, regular season championships or um, conference tournament championships. Uh, you know, we have a lot of history between the two programs. But to be honest with you, the the kids in each program, it's not really quite as much because you know we've kind of been battling it out with Vermont the last few years. So it is pretty new. Um, it, it should be really exciting. You know, BU is a great team that has a lot of dynamic players. I think that um, Kelly's a great coach and she does a great job of preparing them. So, you know, you play someone for the third time, you feel like you know everything they do and they know everything you're going to do. So it's just nice to think that you can just throw the ball up and, and let it be decided by the players. You know, let them go out and play with heart and play with determination and see who comes out on the end. And I think that's what's going to happen is it's going to be hard for anybody to lose because the kids are going to play really hard. As always, thanks for the time. Best of luck. Okay, thanks. All right, that's Jennifer Rosati and Brian Rosari, and this is Hartford Hawks All Access.